Welcome to this week's Global Quickie. I'm Michael Brooks. Each week on the Global Quickie, we pick an international story, break it down for you, give you some greater context for understanding it. On this week's Global Quickie, how big a threat to the global economy is Chinese economic instability? Now, since the start of the new year, 2016, we have seen the Chinese stock market do some crazy things. It has plunged. The government has stopped trading entirely on the Shanghai Stock Exchange on certain days, and the Chinese central bank has injected a lot of money into the economy and into the market uh, to keep it from getting even worse. Now, analysts are very worried about this for a couple of reasons. First of all, because China, the world's second largest economy and, of course, the largest country in the world, has kept the global economy afloat with its growth and development over the last several years in spite of the economic crisis and meltdown that hit the United States and, of course, even worse, Europe. So part of what's happening in China is to be expected because China is winding down some stimulus policies. They're pushing through more reforms and they're attempting to create an internal consumer economy, which is a shift for them with their sort of export-driven approach in the past. So some of this is to be expected. But there are deeper structural problems in the Chinese economy and, of course, in Chinese politics and in the Chinese environment. Chinese environmental uh, costs are significant, and that affects the economy as well. But one of the things that analysts are very, very concerned about is how reputable Chinese statistics and Chinese reporting on its own economic growth is. Some people suggest that gross domestic uh, product and other growth rates that the Chinese government puts out statistics on have been vastly and grossly inflated. When you combine that with lack of transparency about Chinese companies, lack of transparency about greater trends in the Chinese economy, we start to see a parallel in some ways to the crisis on Wall Street that led to our meltdown, which is lack of transparency and information, of course, even more magnified in China with such centralized, insulated, and in many cases, corrupt leadership. So the situation has stabilized somewhat. The Chinese government has injected money into the system. They've put more circuit breaks in place, and there's a lot of strategies and tactics that they can implement to slow down the problems and hopefully address them preventatively before they get worse. But the Chinese economy does threaten the global economy and we can no longer rely on Chinese growth rates to prop up the system as a whole. There are bigger structural problems in the entire global economy and China is now getting exposed to them as well. And that's this week's Global Quickie.